episode number 260. It's a different world for Camaro. Welcome to the Camaro Show, a podcast about all things Camaro and GM performance news. I'm Chris Frezzo. And I'm Jason Debler. We're your hosts for this week's episode of the Camaro Show. Want to be part of our show? It's easy. Just leave a message on our voicemail hotline at 586-486-3182. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And welcome back, everyone, for another exciting episode of the Camaro Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Jason. So, a lot of stuff has happened since the last time we talked to you guys, which has been, what, about two weeks? Was it two weeks was the last episode? Give or take, yeah. It's it's amazing how the world can change very, very rapidly in two weeks. It seems like it's been so much longer than that. I know. Oh, my God. It's, uh... Well, as the title of the show stands, it's a, it's a, it's a different world, and, and it's a different world for not only Camaro right now, but for everything in it. What a time for us to uh, go from mon- uh, weekly to monthly for our show, I know. by the way. If you haven't tuned in in the last episode when we decided that we would do that, well, we got we just got a lot to lot to get into. So, so yeah, if, if you missed that, that's why it's been a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, as you said, Chris, sales just rocked down, rocked in the bad, worst way. Yeah. Um, not only for, way, not only for way, Camaro. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 it's just looking, it's no surprise. Things are looking a little bleak right now for everybody. So we're not, we're not going to lace this with all negativity. We're going to, no. we're just going to kind of start with just identifying what's going on here with the whole COVID-19 thing that's impacting the whole world. Literally and, uh, everything that goes on pretty much in this world. It's, yep. uh, so. <sighs> Yeah, so it's not going to be doom and gloom and negativity and all that, but we are going to just talk about how it's impacting the sales. It's 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 hurting, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, General Motors is shut down right now. the The only part that that's that's actually working, I think, there's a factory still building trucks in Texas, um, on a whoever wants to come in type of deal, and <laughs> you know they're 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 building uh, respirators and uh, and and stuff here in in Detroit as well. So um, they're tasked with that. And uh, they they came through with flying colors. So um, GM is is has got a big part right now of of helping fight off what's what's going on in this world, um, helping the medical community. Um, and I I want to tip my hat to them. It's mm-hmm. it's great. They've been doing an incredible incredible job. And you know thanks to all the wonderful employees who are actually literally risking their lives going into work now. Yeah, that's right. And not just healthcare workers. We're you know, no. you're, we're talking about anybody that that's that's contributing to the, this. Yeah. It, here, here's a point. Now that I think about it, real quick. I I'm as is, 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 is scary as this can be, and it's okay to say yes, it's scary because it is. Okay, it's it's a change for everybody that we didn't see coming, and we should have. Regardless of that, it's awesome to see so many companies, people. Companies large and small, one man shops to General Motors to everything else, stepping up, pulling together, mm-hmm. and doing what what is absolutely necessary. the the guy that the guy that makes the bad that made the custom badges for my Corvette, um, <clears throat> he's been three D printing these little hooks for healthcare workers that clips the um the 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 masks you know they're they're N95 masks so they don't have to have it relying on on hanging on their ears all day long so it's more comfortable. And he's making them and sending them out to anybody who asks. Yeah. He even pays for the shipping and the boxing and everything. Yeah. He's just, I'm going to stop making badges for cars. I'm going to start doing this because it's the right thing. General Motors doing the right thing. Ford doing the right thing. Everybody's, for the most part, is doing the right thing. People with uh, shopping carts full of toilet paper, wrong. <laughs> wrong thing. A couple couple boxes, fine. Two yeah. carts, naughty. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it seems like the this uh, this this COVID nineteen is is pretty much killing all of car events too. I mean, well, we're all are, are you guys on a stay at home order in Tennessee? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is tomorrow. Will be our fourteenth day um, in stay at home order. Um, for the most part, it, it seems like people are doing that, so that's that's good. Um, but I don't think all states are like that. I know well, um, Florida just got hit uh, last Thursday or Friday. Their governor finally came out and um, finally put them on a stay-at-home order and shut down pretty much every non-essential business. Yep. 
Three days ago was when we got the uh, stay-at-home order okay. for Tennessee. Yeah, so tomorrow will be 14 days for, for me. We're, we're, I, personally, I think we're too late on that, too. And when this is over, and it's going to be over. Oh, it, oh, it will be. I mean. Be prepared to, for them to be much, much faster on the trigger when something even looks like this happening again. Mm-hmm. Be prepared to stay home <laughs> right away. Well, and what, I, luckily, you know, we, we come together as a group of people and we're, we, we improve and we make things better because of it. Yep. 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 It's, it's spooky. But, uh. Uh, car events. You said. You said. Yeah, we talked about car events. Yeah, let's. Um, we. I guess we can start with that. Um, yeah, let's. let's car do events. That. Detroit Auto Show, canceled. Mm-hmm. New York Auto Show postponed. Supposedly, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of other events that are that are coming up, um, that are either on the bubble or have been canceled. Camaro Fest 10 was just <sighs> announced this week. They are postponing their 10th. 10th anniversary uh, big event till uh, 2021, which is next year. Um, next summer, actually. Breaks my heart. Do it. Um, I didn't hear anything about Camaro Superfest yet. Let me check their web page. Well, while you're pulling that up, just, uh, you know, sorry to hear that you had to announce that Mike Lee and Joe Bella, organizers of Camaro Fest. I'm sure it wasn't easy, but. But it's the right thing to do. Exactly. I was going to say, it's, it's, it. Good, good for you for doing the right thing. Um, Nothing on the Camaro Superfest 2020 um, website that indicates it, it. All indications are it's still going on July 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I'm really surprised because usually I would expect them to be among the first to say, "Hey, you know, be, being such a family event and everything." Well, I already saw some of the people who always come to this event already saying they're traveled. They're not coming. They're not. Yeah. They're not traveling this summer because of it. Yeah. In future episodes, I want to talk about. I want to reflect. I want to reminisce about Camaro Superfest. Okay. Because because uh, I I kind of I'm starting to miss it again. Yeah. You know, but we can talk about that some other day. Um, what else has been canceled? Uh, well, I we were talking before. Perhaps there's a chance that SEMA will be canceled. There's a there's a there's a chance SEMA could be canceled, and because you know, right now is when everybody starts putting their ideas to paper. There, there's there are wrenches to the cars because it's a long process to get these cars ready for mm-hmm. SEMA. Oh, yeah. And not only that is they have to companies and manufacturers have to secure their their booths and spots at SEMA. Mm-hmm. If there's all this uncertainty going forward, <sighs> and I, the, I can the, really see SEMA coming going coming forward and saying, you know what, we're not doing SEMA this year. There's just. And, that's going to put a hurting on a lot of companies that rely on SEMA to keep their sales going, what about keep the their cash manu- flow going. What about the auto manufacturers who rely on these giant auto shows? Mm-hmm. As right. far as I and know, of course, only, only the Chicago. Hotels and- yeah, only Chicago went on so far. You know, L.A., well, L.A. was first. That was in November. And then Chicago was in February. And then Corona hit. Mm-hmm. You know? Nope. And just think if Detroit <laughs> wouldn't have moved their auto show to June, it would have, we would have had our auto show in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But Ugh. it's a, it's a, it's, this is a weird year, man. <laughs> this is a weird year. Yeah. It's a little crazy, but at the same time, I, I, I like the, the, the attitude of be informed, be prepared. Don't panic. Don't yeah. freak out. Um, I'm not. No. Um, no, I'm, I'm not. I also read that the discomfort you feel with this is grief because your life will be different. And that's okay. Yeah, life is going to change anyway. Life changed rather abruptly on 9-11. This is like 9-11 in slow motion, and we're doing much better. At re- I mean, yeah. from the impact of normal, everyday life. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I'm comparing it. Um, and things are going to change. The market's going to change. The finances are going to change. Everything's going to change. It's, but It's, it's going to change so slowly everything. that... Um, it's not going to be a big shock like like it could be. At least uh-huh. I hope. That's that's the way I see it. You know where it's changing? Muscle car sales. Yeah, Q1 2020 uh, uh, sales figures were announced this week for, you know, the the most the majority of the the muscle car market which is, you know, Camaro, Challenger, yep, Mustang, Charger. Uh, uh, Charger. All I can say is ouch, man. Well, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the charts. This is courtesy of musclecarsandtrucks.com. Ford Mustang, Q1 20, 2020 over 2019 actually increased 6.8 percent 
Hmm. However, Dodge Charger down 10%. Dodge Challenger also down 10%. Chevrolet Camaro uh, Q1 2020 year over 2019 minus 40.5%. It's it's tough to look at, man. It really that is. That is is really painful to see. Mm-hmm. It's I, I I wonder why. I mean, if it was ten percent like the rest of them, I get it. I I don't know, I I I don't know. We've we've been down this this road many many times on this show, and I, I'm at the point where I'm just throwing my hands in the air. You know, mm-hmm. um, obviously people are not buying the car for whatever reason. I really thought with the with the introduction of the LT1 model this year, uh, sales would spike, but. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have to figure into the equation now with the whole coronavirus thing. Well, I mean, Challenger's down 10%, Charger's down 10%. I, I can only guess that Ford's dumping a whole bunch of cars in the fleet like they normally do. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, every fleet is loaded with Mustangs, always. There always mm-hmm. seems to be V6 convertibles. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They said, uh, how bad was it if the Camaro keeps this pace will end up being an all-time low sales record, save for the highest hiatus years in the 2000s. Divided up, Chevrolet averaged 2,379 Camaro sales each month of Q1 2020. If multiplied by 12, the annual projection sales is just 28,548 units. <sighs> and, considering, and considering the current state of affairs, it could be even lower when it's all said and done. Well, that, I mean, what can you do? What can you say? Well, it's sad. It really is. <sighs> well, Pro- promotions help, I guess. Yeah, the promotions uh, should help. I mean, here's uh, another thing that that was that came out uh, last week. Um, they're doing some some deals now for Camaro and uh, Corvette, where it's called the uh, Chevy Cares promotion. Um, let's see how good, how good are these the Chevy cares? Let's see. Chevy's, uh, d- d- um, let's see how good are these Chevy wants to move C7 still at dealerships. Unfortunately, they're limited to base Stingray and Z06 model. Sorry, Grand Sport and Z01 fans. Chevy's offering 2000 uh-huh. in customer cash. When you buy a base Stingray. As for financing, you get 0% APR for 72 months on both the Stingray and Z06. The Camaro has some great deals too, but there's a catch for the best promotion under Chevy and Cares. You need to be a current Ford Mustang owner. So another one of those uh, conquests. <laughs> Conquest. Chevy fell into third place in Mustang car sales, and I can't be happy about that. Chevy's offering 3750 total cash allowance for 2019 Camaros. And 3,250 for 2020 models, but only for current Mustang owners. Doesn't specify it for at least uh-huh. financer outright. So, oh man, well, now's a good time if you can swing it. If you're, I think a lot of people are hanging under their money though, you know, they're just a little concerned. Well, people are, you know, it's, uh, people are nervous, mm-hmm. you know. Um, we are going to be getting a stimulus check though in the next couple weeks. Yeah, speed That's, parts. Well, you know, if you if you <laughs> if you make under ninety nine thousand dollars, blah blah blah. Yeah, speed this, parts. <laughs> there's there's stipulations on it, but yeah, uh, for the for the middle class, hopefully, uh, people don't take that money and sock it away. Hopefully, they take it and, and uh, stimulate the economy, which is what it's used for. Stimulus. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank. Um, all right. Well, you know, keep your head up, GM. You're doing the right thing. Sales are going to be down all the way around because they're not making cars, right? So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, um, but let's let's uh, let's let's shift this around. Let's, let's let's switch to something a little more positive. People making you know everything going virtual. Um, you know, with me working from home all the time. I'm used to working from home, but um, tell you what, getting into my meeting invites is is pretty tough because everybody's killing the system. That's but something. There, I'm, that's something companies. I'm not used to. I'm not used to working from home. Oh. It, it, it takes a special kind of mentality. And, I, well, we're all forced to get into it. Yeah. But uh, you know who's you know, t- making lemons out of lemonade or whatever? 
<laughs> make a lemonade out of lemons. Peterson Automotive Museum. I thought this was really cool. I wanted to make sure we talked about this. Because you can't um, you know, visit Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, which is a really cool looking museum, by the way. Yeah. And this, uh, this I saw this on Popular Mechanics. Now you can do virtual tour drives where it's a it's not just like like a bunch of different cameras. It's a real person giving a virtual tour. That's cool. And and it's free. And um, there's all these different different things you can you can you can t- take part in, including next Saturday for April 11th, um, 11 a.m. to 11 a.m. 11 a.m. PST. You can do a full vault tour over 250 cars in a virtual tour. You can actually ask questions in real time with the person giving the tour. Cool. It's really cool. So I wanted to throw that out for especially for everybody who's stuck at home and wants to do car stuff but can't. At least you can do that. Head over to Peterson.org/vault hyphen purchase. Okay. And even though it says purchase, um, all tours are now suggested donation. Nice. Good for you guys at Peterson. Real nice. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. People are adapting. People are switching right away. And yeah. it's not just GM. No. no. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so it's been a couple of weeks here. When I know we've probably got some voicemails and emails stacked up. I know of at least one email we got. Yeah. You want to do those, Chris? Yeah. You want to you read the email first? I can do that. Yeah. Uh, do this that. comes from James Griffith. And uh, he says, "Hello. What would the what would be the horsepower in the electric Camaro in a 2SS? Hope they don't do what the Mustang did with the Mach E. I just hope that Chevy keeps it a car and not a stupid SUV. Have a good one. Well, for, first of all, just for the record, we have no confirmation there will be an electric Camaro. It's just all speculating. So right. apologies yeah. if that came out wrong. Yeah. Um, here's the deal, and I, I did some research on this. An electric motor's output is measured in kilowatts." Companies that build electric cars, they still talk about horsepower because consumers are still more familiar with that measure of unit. But the equation is pretty simple. One kilowatt times 1.369 equals a horsepower. So a 100 kilowatt motor produces 136 horsepower. Some examples that I found. A Nissan Leaf has 110 kilowatts, so it's 147 horsepower equivalent. Tesla Model 3 Standard Plus, 211 kilowatts, 283 horsepower. A Porsche Taycan Turbo S, 460 kilowatts, which is 616 horsepower. But torque, on the other hand, continues to be measured in pound-feet, which is, you know, right. the, the, kind of the standard. Yeah. But if you want to switch it around, a current Camaro SS of 455 horsepower would be 618.8, you know, 619 kilowatts. So, to answer your question, if... The current Camaro became electric and had equivalent power. It'd be 619 kilowatts. There's your answer. If, if it were to happen. Right. Hmm. Good question, James. Very, very good question. Yeah. It was, it was fun looking that up, too, because I didn't know myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to uh, voicemail and see what's going on. It's Postal Day. Well... We are one of the essential people that are still working. Got a special ID badge from uh, FEMA and got a special letter that says we can drive to work and back home. And, well, we're processing lots of China mail or mail made in China or Amazon mail coming from China. So hopefully none of this virus stays on the packages. Other than that, I saw a truckload of brand new Corvettes in their uh, dust covers at the, what is it, not Holiday Inn. I can't remember what it is, but it's one of those hotels. He was parked in uh, near work, and they all had their white covers on. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. You, Jason, uh, Leslie, and... Mrs. Depthor, oh, my brain's not working. 61 years old, and I don't know if my brain's not working. I'm sorry. Anyways, I hope all your listeners are doing all right and they have enough food and electric and everybody's safe. So just giving you a shout out to everybody. Hope you feel okay and you're not getting stressed out. So. Postal Day, signing off about five, six weeks in a row. We've been working six days a week. So take care, and everybody, 
bless everybody and say prayer for everybody that's having a hard time. Love you guys. Postal Dave signing off. Bye. Postal Dave. PD. Thank you for that for that voicemail and yeah and 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 thank you for for mm-hmm. for going into work and and doing what you're doing because there are some businesses that are marked essential, um, and there are there you know people got to get food. People got to get their mail, you know, because through the mail comes food and, and, and drugs for prescriptions and, and stuff like that. So, um, thank you for, for doing that. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to stay home and be safe and hopefully everybody else is as well. And we'll all get through this quicker. See some light at the end of the tunnel. Yep. Yep, agreed. Thank you very much, PD, and thanks for the call in and the best wishes to everybody. And we certainly echo all that. Yeah. If you guys want to get in a voicemail to us, hey, we're still getting them every week, even though we're only doing the show once a month now. And here's how. Hey, want to be part of this show? Well, we want to hear from you. Just hit our digits at 586 486 3182, 24 hours a day. Leave us a message and we'll feature it in an upcoming show. So, what are you waiting for? Do it now. So let's do this. Let's go on to the next voicemail. Cool. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? AJ the Resident Mustang guy calling in. And I was just over here pondering about um, me and a buddy of mine having a discussion. And um, if I want to get you guys' opinion, if someone wanted a Camaro and they didn't want just your typical it. Um, they wanted either a Z01 or, you know, just something special. What would you guys recommend getting if they had maybe a budget of around fifty five to $60,000? Would you recommend getting a 15 Z01 with some miles on it and, you know, saving a little money and getting some mods, um, you know, just going for the gusto and getting a new, a new Z01? Uh, a Z011 LE and maybe uh, get a have a car note for a while, or would you recommend a fifth gen Z28 um, to be even more, you know, kind of special and you know throwing some eyes at that. Um, so that's the question. Um, with the budget around fifty five to sixty thousand, maybe even sixty five thousand dollars. Um, you know, use the one with some miles and some mods, um, a 5th gen uh, Z28 or a 6th gen Z01 or a 6th gen Z01 1LE. Um, or even just a, a regular 1LE, but like I said, that's, a, that's basically just a, a package on the S-Hit. So um, what do you guys think, one or the other? Uh, let me know. See you. AJ, the resident Mustang guy, wanting wanting to know what we would do with fifty five to sixty sixty five thousand dollars. What would we buy? What are my choices again? <laughs> Pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no question. Six Gen ZL one, all the way. Yeah, all the way. E- even even a used one. You could find a. Hey, we just we just saw an article not too long ago. You can get a used 17 ZL1 now with like 20,000 miles for 40 grand. Mm-hmm. That's what I paid for my Z06 that's nine years old. Um, Waltz at the time. And if you wanted something really special, you could probably pick up a Z28, a 14 or a 15 Z28 for, f- for less than 55 or 60,000. You oh. could probably... Gosh, yes. Probably between forty and fifty for a really like low mile, like like, like brand, brand new. new. Yeah, one. in the thirties for one that's got some miles on mm-hmm. it, even just a little bit of miles. Plenty of room for mods. If you got fifty five or sixty five grand and you want to drop money on a car, the, your choices are pretty open, man. Oh <laughs> you can, yeah, you can get away with a lot. I would love, love a Krypton Green. Oh yeah, ZL one A ten. Yeah. Oh yeah, remember that gray one that was at uh, uh, Camaro Fest last year? The gray one. There was that. I forgot the name of the color. I, it slipped my mind. It was when we were talking to the the reps, the Chevrolet Camaro reps. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. I love that car. God, I love that car. 
<laughs> I was like, okay, let's see if I sell my Corvette, uh, I'll get this, that, and the other thing. No, it didn't, yeah, it didn't, it didn't pan out, but, um, yeah. oh, gosh, man, I wish. I, you know what? If you got 55 or 65 grand, come buy me some beers. Hey. Let's talk. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, AJ. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Thank you. Good to hear uh, from you. Let's see. We Stay got, safe out there. We got one more left here. Jason, hey, this is Kevin from down the road. And hi, Chris. Pleased to meet you. Hey, at the last episode, Jason asked, how do you, you know, you got a good car, but you want the newer. What do you, what do, you do about that? Here's, here's the solution. Your wife has a car, right? Okay, so here's what you do. You got your, your car. You, you take her car down to the dealer and trade it in, and then it makes a good down payment on the, the new car that you want. Then you get to keep your car. And then, rather than having these you know extra payments, uh, what you do is you refinance your house, and that takes care of the rest of it. There you go. Glad I could help. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Good to hear from you. You know, I could probably... You know, I could probably just open my window, and you could open your window, and we could shout at each other and hear each other. <laughs> Kevin, I mentioned before, has a, just a beautiful 6 Gen ZL1, just like what we talked about. And, wow. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Kevin. Um, I'm glad you live so close because you're within walking distance so I can actually carry as many belongings as I can, and I can sleep in your garage because I've been thrown out of my house for doing exactly what you suggested. <laughs> because if I were to say to my wife, well, Kevin said it was okay. We're so trading your car in. Now you're living with Kevin. <laughs> You know, if I did that without without telling her, she'd be angry at me. Yeah. Very, very angry. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, if I approached her with the idea, she'd probably be kind of cool with at least considering it. Um, she's always wanted a Camaro. so That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And her little, I call it the Turbo Pig, the little Buick Encore. <laughs> turbo um, Pig. Yeah. Is, uh, just, she just paid it off. I think I might have mentioned that. She just paid it off a month or two ago. Yeah. That, yeah, it's only worth like ten grand. So that'd be a nice down payment on a new Camaro. I should talk to her about that. It would. It would. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> well, that kind of leads me into you know AJ kind of touched on this a little bit, um, because he wanted to know what to get, but I didn't put this in our notes. The the they announced what changes were going to happen for twenty twenty one for the Chevrolet Camaro this year. Oh, how, how could we we we, we totally can't pass that? Yeah. So I, I'm going to add this into our notes here. So yeah. we can talk about this next, because um, this was pretty. There's there's one thing that is very, I think, very exciting. So let me add this right here. There you go. Yeah, um, I can't believe we've we missed this. Well, I mean, it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, we also got a bunch of stuff going on. Things are crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So 2021 uh, Camaro will remain virtually unchanged, but there's a few items of note that we need to talk about. Um, the biggest, well, I'll save that for last. So um, it's going to support wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto now. So yay, you don't have to plug in. It'll it'll connect automatically wirelessly to Apple CarPlay. Yay. Yay, indeed. Yeah. Um, so they're losing some colors and they're adding some colors. Gone is rally green metallic and garnet red tint coat. You're going to now introduce a new color called Wild Cherry Tint Coat. I don't know what that's going to look like. I'm sure there's another Chevrolet with that. Um, <laughs> and the biggest one is the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro SS1LE gets a 10-speed automatic. Yes. Pre you previously, go. guys, you the only time you got a 1LE, the only available option for a one elite car mm -hmm. was the six speed manual things kind of changed when they introduced the zl1 one le yep when they introduced the a10 now this year 2021 you get the 10 speed automatic i know some people will be like eh. yeah i like rolling through the gears eh. I, I, I get it that's but... cool don't just try driving one first. See what you think. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, they still have the LT1 trim level. Is the kind of stripper model. For, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. That's kind of cool. I think people... Speaking of strippers, <laughs> nobody's talked about them. They're, they got to be hurting. They got no money. Well, they started a whole new business. Did you hear about this? 
No, what? You didn't hear about this? I didn't plan on this going this way, but oh. what? <laughs> no, really, what? They're 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 delivering food. <laughs> really? And they called it Boober Eats. Oh, is this a joke? No, I swear to God, you can Google it. This is the greatest thing that has <laughs> ever can... happened. <laughs> Sorry for those who don't care about this. I just, I just, I saw this recently, and I thought it was hilarious and, and, and very entrepreneurial. <laughs> well, and that's like I said, everybody's switching gears and they're making the best of this. That's yeah. good for them. Yeah. A lot of my bartender friends here in the Nashville area, oh, they are struggling. So there's, there's like GoFundMe set up funds and fundraisers mm-hmm. for them. Yeah, yeah. A lot. I'm, I know most of the businesses here. Um, have announced that they are paying their employees, even though they're not working. Some are, you know, putting them on layoffs. You know, some of them have to file for unemployment. Some are being furloughed. I mean, look at all the Disney employees. Holy cow, dude. Mm -hmm. All those employees are getting furloughed as of, I think, April 30th. So that's that's a lot of people, dude. A lot of people. My son did. My son got laid off. Did he? He works in the restaurant industry, so yeah. And he's, he'd only been there two weeks, just started a new job. And they're oh. like, hey, we know it. And he loves it there. He loves it. He's like, I love this job. And then two weeks earlier, they're like, hey, we know you love this job and you're doing a great job. But sorry, sayonara <laughs> for now. It's it's causing businesses to rethink their business too. I mean, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm starting to see, you know, the breweries and stuff, you know, they can't open. But they're starting to do curbside service with f- filling yep. growlers and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, I had a wonderful experience. I had to order a keyboard for my situation here at home and uh best buy was not open all they're doing is curbside service i mean i pulled up literally i put my phone to the window they said okay and they came right out that's it they put it right in my car i I was off it was so simple so easy i mean that's when when things get back to the new normal i think that's that sort of interaction is going to be normal. I think so too. I think you're right. I mean, they, they've already had the pickup, but we're going to get used to that. We're going to mm-hmm. like it, just I, like you did. You like it, I so loved it's it. going to become a thing. It was quick, easy, and you know, I can actually see stores like Best Buy and everything being seventy five percent warehouse and twenty five percent retail, yeah. with curbside delivery being a huge thing. Mm-hmm. You know, just, just like Uber took over the airports. You know. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's an adaptation. I say, I say this all the time. Um, you evolve or you die. That's what um, Dan Gilbert has always said. Mm-hmm. So, And we're evolving pretty cool, man. Yeah. I know I just completely took us off on a massive yeah. tangent. We were talking about strippers and everything. But what, what were we talking about before that? Well, we were oh. talking about the changes oh. for 2021. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> but, and, well, I finished that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. And you, so, said, you know what what? The, and you said, what about those poor strippers? <laughs> I didn't even think about that because it's quite honestly, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not 18 anymore. So it's not the first thing I think about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, gosh, poor, poor, poor girls and dudes. Um, <laughs> you want to get back to cars? Yeah. Uh, just a few tidbits that I picked up. Um, let's see here. Uh. Oh, well, somebody broke into the 10s with a slicks and a nitrous tank um, with a C8. I'm like, big deal. Just about anything can go into the 10s with slicks and nitrous now. I thought the C8 was supposed to run 10s pretty much stock. <laughs> no, no, no. No? But no, no. But the frunk, the frunk. The frunk, the frunk, is, frunk is, yeah, is, is where they perfect put the Perfect spot for a nitrous tank, man. It looks pretty good. It looks cool. really good. Nobody's cracked the codes, though, for the computer programming. I'd give it time. Give it time. And uh, somebody broke one <laughs> trying to race it down the track. Of course. LG Motorsports did. did. Which I didn't even know. LG Motorsports, uh, Lou Gelati doesn't doesn't own it anymore. No? He has nothing to do with it. No, he sold it a while back. They just kept the name. Huh. But the current you know, LG Motorsports, the company, um, broke the axles. They were uh, wait, they were waiting until sec- uh, shifting into second gear to hit the nitrous. And then they, they busted the left half shaft. Boom. Yeah. Pretty nasty. Hmm. That's just awesome. That's awesome, though. It makes me think of the fourth gen days when people are just breaking everything, trying yeah. to see how fast they can little get those end, things to go. Rear end. Next month's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about some reminiscing. I think um, talk a little bit about, like I said, I want to talk about Camaro Superfest. 
maybe Chris, you and I can go through some, some, some good, good memories. Yeah. Um, and also Barry, if you're hearing, if you're listening to this episode, um, private message me and let me know what's going on with Camaro Superfest. Yeah. We'll help get the word out for sure. But I also want to talk about the fourth gen days, the heyday of our, our generation, if you will. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Huge. I know we're running out of time here. Huge. You got anything else, Chris? Cause I got one more thing if you don't. Um, not really. No. Um, just as a reminder to everybody, since you're going to be spending a lot of time at home, why not maximize the most of that with uh, enjoying your garage? And that's what I encourage anybody to do. I love being in my garage and all that. Last year, I made a video about uh, how to properly wash your microfiber towels because that's what we all use now. And uh, it was last year, but it's that time again of year again this year. Um, if you got a big old pile of microfiber towels and you're not sure how to wash them, I, I show you how in this video. I'm I like this video a lot. People people say they enjoy it. And I just did mine last weekend. I washed them all and tossed out some really crappy ones, but got them nice and clean and folded and ready for the new cool new season of maintaining my car that nobody will see because I won't drive it anywhere. <laughs> what what can you can you give a, a a quick overview of of the washing process? Yeah, liquid laundry detergent, not powdered. Um a little bit of simple green. Um, that helps keep the grease out and, uh, cold water or no, I'm sorry, hot water. Does it matter if they still come out looking dirty? Not necessarily. Uh, well, t- if they don't look brand new, I won't use them on delicate surfaces. Right. If I see any sign of use on it, I will have them, I'll use them for like the Wheels trim or, or something. plastic yeah. or something, or even, even, um, I'll even, you know, use it for glass or something that I know can't be damaged by it. But I, I, I'm trying to get into the habit of marking them every time I wash them, putting like a number on them or something or, you know, a strike or something like that. That way I know that after four times, man, these things are just ready to be used as shop rags. Um, I also buy different different brands. Some are, are cheaper for cheaper surfaces. And then for like the painted surfaces, I use the higher end stuff by Chemical Guys. I really like Chemical Guys st- stuff. By the way, um, in fact, uh, one of the things I talk about in the video is if you don't have liquid laundry detergent, you don't want to do any of the other stuff, including using um, vinegar in the in the um, rinse cycle. That acts as a natural um, fabric softener because you don't want to use actual fabric softener on them. It'll create static. Um, it'll, it could also put a coating on it on the fibers that will be transferred over to your paint. So Chemical Guys actually makes just a one and done microfiber wash. And it's pretty cheap. It's on Amazon. It's also mentioned in the video. And that's typically what I use these days. It's a short video. I think it's only like five minutes long. Okay. That's good. I'll link that up in the show yep. notes. Perfect. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> hope, hope, that, hope that tips helps tip helps people. And yeah. Hope it gears everybody up for when we can go to car shows again. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if you know, think about Woodward Dream Cruise, you know. Around here, are they going to cancel that? I don't. Know. How can they cancel a car cruise? That's what I mean. You know, you're in your well, car. Can, you're, yeah, but the battle would be keeping people off the sidewalks. That's that's true because that generates more people on the sidewalks than it does actual people in the cars cruising. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think right. it was over two million last year. That's nuts. You know. What, <laughs> you know what they did in, in my neighborhood though. It was really cool uh, a week or two ago is I'm up here in my office working and then I hear sirens and horns honking all the teachers in the area. And I don't know if they're doing this in every area or they just did it in ours, but all the teachers put on a parade because they missed their students. So they drove through the neighborhood with the police escort with signs that they made on the side of their car saying how much they missed their students. It was really cool to see them do huh. that, you know, to let their kids know that their teachers are still thinking of them. Oh. I thought that was really nice. We have a local thing here that says <clears throat> every day at 6.30, just walk outside and wave to your neighbor. Just make sure everything's okay. Don't go socialize. It's just a time just to get out of your house, wave to the neighbor, make sure everything's good, and go back in your house. So everybody just kind of comes out to their porch slash front yard area? And yeah, that's, just wave, say that's hi. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just uh, let everybody know you're, you're okay. And, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, they don't see you for a while. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a month before we talk to you all again. I, so I hope, between now and then. I hope the next time we talk to you guys, we're, 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 we're kind of talking about, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel and, and, and looking back instead of looking forward. Because my work has already said May 1st. Now, now we'll think about coming back to work May 1st, you know, mm-hmm. as our return mm-hmm. date. Yeah. It's, uh, 
It's, it's like like the episode is. It's a different world. It's a different yeah. world right now. It is. And you know what? It, 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 it took less than a month for us to get here from where oh it was Oh, my normal. God. I know. Two weeks. Okay. It can move just as fast in the positive direction, too. And yeah. the next time we have this episode, Chris, I'll bet you we'll have more positive things to talk about. I hope so. Things really are just do. things just move that way. They have to be. Yeah. If you look right now, you can find positive things. I mentioned a few of them. Uh, we also talked about some negative things. It's a reality. You take the good with the bad. Right. But uh, I, I really hope that all of our listeners are hanging in there, doing okay, staying as healthy as they can, being smart, not panicking, but being being smart and, and, yeah. and making the right decisions and, and being good to each other. If you don't need to go out, don't. Stay home. Stay home. Stay the fuck home. <laughs> Stay home <laughs> and wash your hands. Yeah, wash your damn hands. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? It's, it's funny. I, I'm seeing all these commercials about how you know this. You know, like like Papa John's has now got this commercial out that um, once the 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 pizza leaves the oven, it never touches a human hand ever. Okay, well, what were they doing beforehand? <laughs> we so, talked about this before. You know, it's like, oh my god. Well, I was using it to remove makeup <laughs> off a horse. Uh, um, I ordered a Papa John's pizza the other night. Yeah, like, we've been ordering Papa John's a lot lately because I'm starting to really like it. I don't. I, I order special though. You get the three cheese blend and you have it well done. Oh, it comes out really good. Really? But uh, now you can, yeah. And their online ordering system is really easy, and you can actually, it by default will be contactless delivery. Yeah. And if you read the description, it's almost militant. They will place the pizza on a uh, on a surface with something uh, i forgot the wording now but with something in between it and the surface they will ring the doorbell they will step back 10 to 12 feet wait for you to acknowledge the receipt of your pizza then they will depart something like that so <laughs> jeez man all right so i was out in the garage when they delivered and she's i see her walking up the driveway and i said stop and drop that pizza she knew i was kidding you know <laughs> oh, so, so she drops it we stayed, yeah, just hurls it and runs screaming. No, but no, she she reached from a distance and handed me the pizza, and I took it, and yeah, and, and I didn't die. <laughs> All right, you ready to get yeah. out of here? Yeah. In addition, everybody else have a sense of humor about things. Yeah. Be respectful, but have a sense of humor. Yes. It's gonna be all right. Yep. It'll be all right. That's right. And we will be back at it next episode. So we'll see Got you it. guys. See you next week. Or next month. <laughs> See ya. Thanks for listening to The Camaro Show. Don't forget, drop us a voicemail at 586-486-3182. See, See ya. ya.